That's loud. That's loud. That is awesome. Got the good running music. It's perfect. I love it. Hold on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do something pretty cool. So you see that we've got the fleet behind me. We've got our brand new 2020 Lowrider S Harley Davidson in the back. I don't know if you can tell, we got the boosted Mach 1, but today we got our brand new helmet. So I'm super excited about this. This is a new Shoei RF 1400. Kind of matches the bike, if you can see. I'm a big Shoei fan, but today's video is partly about this, and it's also going to be about something that I'm super excited about. Siphon Sound, completely wireless. I, I was super pumped that Siphon sent this to me. Now, just because they did doesn't mean that I'm going to be biased towards them. If it sucks, I'm gonna let you know in this video. But we gotta put it together. All right, there we go. This is a wireless headset that goes into your uh, helmet. I'm gonna say sound system because these guys emphasize a lot on sound quality. Okay, so let's get this out out in the open. So let's just show you what it comes with. All right, so you get your device is gonna go on the outside of the helmet, which is pretty sweet. You can stick it on. They also give you a clip if you wanna just like leave it on your clothes or something like that. Yeah, let's just open it up. We'll see what you got. So you got a nice like felt lined bag with a bunch of goodies. It's nice and lightweight, it's not too heavy. They're really thin, check this out. And they give you the nice spongy soft ear pads. They give you some spacers that if you want them closer to your eardrums because everybody's head's a little different. It's pretty much just one touch and it turns. So volume up, volume down, and some of the other functions, you can control the whole system like this. Pretty easy, pretty easy. You don't have to go hunting for buttons or anything like that. Blue light right there to let you know that it's on. This is the amount of cable that you're gonna get. So this is gonna wrap around. We'll have to tuck and hide inside of the helmet a little bit, but it's not excessive. Quick, real quick. So check it out. So long press to begin pairing. Yep, track back. You can, oh, sick. So if you wanna skip a song, Instead of touching your phone, it looks like you can just, you rock it forward and just hold and it will fast forward to the next song and also we're the same in reverse. 10 minute charge will give you two hours of play time. So if you forget to charge this thing overnight, um, just plug it up for 10 minutes and you can go for a couple hour cruise. That's pretty good. Connects with your Apple watches and Android devices and watches, everything. So they've got you covered there. Push to talk capability. So this is something cool. That, just because we didn't get one of the other products that offers like the mesh system between rider and rider and tons of riders, this still kind of works in the same fashion. So if you phone, so if you have an app that is like a, a walkie talkie or something like that, or if you just want to make phone calls, this will work too. So just because we don't have a boom mic coming out of this thing, it actually has a built-in microphone in one of the sides of these. So we should be able to put that to the test as well and see how well, especially while we're riding, you know, let's make a phone call and see if the other party can actually hear us. So let's get all this out of the way and we're gonna dissect the helmet. Our brand new Shoei RF1400. I like this thing, man, super lightweight. So what are we gonna do? It's been a while since I've taken a Shoei apart. Pulls? Yep. Okay, just pulls. One more clip, we should be good to go. So it gives me good access to the inside of the helmet. We've already got um, speaker cutouts in here, but they're kind of covered. So we're actually gonna take that out. So that's what that looks like. <laughs> we got some prep pads, we're gonna use those. And I'm just gonna give everything a wipe down and make sure that you know we have a good mounting surface, good, good, nice and clean. These things, so the way that they want you to actually mount them is with the circle, okay, that's gonna actually mount down inside of the helmet. And then this one with no circle is actually gonna be what's gonna mount to, to the back of the speaker itself. And then what you do is you have in between the spacer. It shouldn't be too tight, but if it is, then, you know, you just take the spacer out and then go from there. So that's gonna come up here somewhere. We're gonna heat up the helmet and then also the back of this sticky on the controller. That's some pretty good stuff. This isn't like regular Velcro. These are like, I don't know what you call these things, but they're, they're plastic and they, they really grab. So you'll wanna be creative doing this. Um, I'm just kind of taking my time and figuring out what's gonna work for the helmet. So this came out actually pretty well. So check this out. So when we put the pads back in, I've got this on the 1400, the R1400. I've got the cord coming back through here and it goes under the, all the padding and everything. All the excess is basically back here behind this, this pad back here. So it's not gonna interfere anything. I'll show you the speakers in a second. Let's see if it, 
actually fits right. All right, so fits okay. I think I'm gonna actually go without the uh, those spacers in between. I can feel them pushing in my ear, but it's cool that you know they give you that option. They're easy to get out, and they give you tons of extras. So if you have a spare helmet, you can transfer all this stuff over to your other helmet, which is pretty cool. All right, let's try again. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, so uh, we're gonna try to pair this up to the phone. You just go to your settings. Bluetooth. Okay, and then we'll push this in. Power on. All right, so b before we give this a test, so my conversations with Siphon, emailing back and forth a little bit, just trying to, you know, know the, just trying to learn the product a little bit more, they really emphasized on sound quality. By the way, guys, if you visit the links down below, you go check out the links down below. Uh, just go do it. There's a lot of discount codes and stuff like that, including these. All right, let's give it a test. We'll see what it does. Thing I listen to like a lot of rock and metal and stuff. We'll see if we can find something with a little bit of bass though still. Because that's the other thing is like the other systems, they don't have to me a lot of bass. And I want to be able to hear, I want to be like immersed in the music whenever I'm writing. That's loud. That is freaking loud. One touch for pause. That is awesome. Dude, check this out. All right, let's do this again. I want to see if I get the GoPro up here and you guys can actually hear the music coming through the helmet. Oh, by the way, Siri works too. So check this out. So I, the volume is down. Okay. Hey, Siri. <laughs> That's so sick. Siri's working. Siri, what is one plus one? It's two. Before we get on the road, let's make a phone call and just make sure that everything works. It's loud. All right. So we don't get demonetized. We can't listen to the full song. Sorry, guys. Uh, one of my favorite bands. Anyway, so that's pretty freaking significantly loud. And it's got a lot of bass. I'm enjoying it so far. Just a couple of seconds has been on my head. Time will tell what it's going to be like on the Harley back here. We're going to give that a test with some wild pipes. And if we can still hear our music and we still make phone calls, we have a winner of a product. But let's make a phone call before we even get on the road. Let's actually test that feature too. Let's see if it'll work. We know that Hey Siri works. We know the music sounds delicious. We know that it fits perfectly. We know the price is pretty good. Without touching my phone. Hey Siri, call Stephanie. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to do the driving portion of our Sound Pro system. Look, I've actually had this installed for about three weeks now. So what you're going to get from me is not necessarily first impressions, which is a good thing. I've been able to test this over the past three weeks, and I can give you my honest feedback and opinion on this product. Do I think it's worth it for you to buy? Well, we're about to test it out. So we're going to hit some back roads, and we're going to pick up some speed and see if I can translate on camera as best I can hear the music over the speed, over the wind, so and so forth all right so real quickly let me get off the bike here i want to show you something so off camera i went ahead and i installed and painted i'm going to do a video in the future covering this memphis shades road warrior here had it custom painted to the motorcycle and it is beautiful i love the way that this looks so we're going to be able to block a little bit of the wind and i've also installed some slip-ons so i'm not going to tell you what brand i'm not going to give you the details on those just know that they sound delicious and you're going to have to come back and watch the future content the future videos on uh, both the slip-ons and we're going to be changing up some windscreens for this front fairing to see how it affects the noise, how it affects wind, so on and so forth. Some detailed videos just like this one coming forward, so make sure you are subscribed. I appreciate it very much. Now let's get the bat out of the way before we actually take off. Let's get the bat out of the way. Um, yes, there is a microphone built into the speaker. There's not a boom mic that comes out of it. I would like to see that added maybe in the future for phone calls because once you're riding, you can answer calls, yes. You can use Siri to, to operate that and so on and so forth, but the other person on the other end of the phone call cannot hear you while you're riding. So a boom mic, I think, will fix that. But again, this system is not engineered for communication, so to speak. It's more for the audio. The audio that comes through these speakers, it's exceptional, guys. I downloaded the Sirius XM app on my phone so we can actually listen to satellite radio 
uh, through our speakers as well in addition to all the other music and everything else that you have you know on your phone um, here's some five finger death punch good stuff but anyway all right let's get the bike fired up let's hit these back roads and give it a test to pair it up just simply one touch power on excellent the way that it works volume up volume down you can skip forward just like you saw in the beginning of this video you can one touch for pause you can answer phone calls you can do all these stuff your siri works as you know it's just amazing the simplicity of this rotary not right here it just makes it easy <laughs> these back roads and hit some speed crystal clear music coming through the speakers so I'm at 80 and I can hear it plenty fine I don't have it blasting my ears either it's not turned all the way up again a lot of this is going to be dictated by the helmet of your choice it's the Shoei RF 1400 and it's exceptional. So 70 mile an hour, perfect. But I can always crank it up, turn it up. Let's go faster. 85, 86, perfect. I hear it clearly. Into this turn right here. So this is some good riding music. Perfect song for this. All right, so like I said, if you want to pause, one touch, it's paused. You want to resume, hit it again. If you want to skip around, you can long hold back or forward and it will skip. Oh, right, here we got another good song for riding. Ah, oh, we got the metal going, yes. Woo, that's loud, I gotta turn that down. Okay, so very, very loud. It will blow your eardrums in half if it's all the way up. Let's pick up some speed. the music plenty fine it's not blown up by the wind this fairing is certainly helping I'm sure because there's a lot of the, the air is not coming up through like my chin area so it's definitely helping I'm sure all right so still got the bike running so even with the loud exhaust even with the wind even at triple uh digits there <laughs> so you can still hear the music plenty fine um if you have a naked bike you don't have a front fairing yes that's going to affect it somewhat um and depending on how loud your exhaust is because everybody's going to do exhaust and that's going to affect the way that you listen to music because it's more you know outside noise and uh, anyway i'm highly impressed so like i said the one thing that i would like to see improved is a boom microphone or something to that effect if you're stationary like i am now or you know if we cut the motorcycle off yes you can have that conversation but as far as the way the speakers sound themselves i've heard this and that you know all these different brands out there and this so far is uh, really impressing me it's up there with the big leagues okay for the price point that this falls into i think it's exceptional bass treble all of that the big takeaway too is the biggest takeaway too is the sound quality just because it's loud doesn't mean that it sounds good it sounds up there with the higher end systems that are you know three four times the amount of money that you're going to spend with this system so big shout out to siphon sound i love this system guys go check them out follow the links down below this is the sound pro and it is every bit of a professional sound i really am enjoying it so that's the video hopefully you found this entertaining and fun i appreciate all of you guys out there watching the videos we got a lot of new subscribers and i want to say thank you and welcome to the channel until next video i'll see all you guys later ride safe